Hey everyone, this is Julian at FormWise. Today we are going to learn how to create a smart form from scratch. Okay, there are two ways you can create your smart form, uh, and today I am going to show you both. Okay, so to get started, we come here, create a new tool. We are going to select if if you have already clear what you want to create, you can go in individual tools. If you want to check some templates, maybe some email marketing or something, you can use some templates we already have. But for the sake of this video, I am choosing individual tools. We are building a smart form. And here are the two ways you can create your smart form. Like I said, um, if you have your idea very clear in the instructions you want to give, you can come to the start blank and you can start from, from there. Or you can tell the the AI what you can do or what you want to do and the AI will do it for you. It's going to be even easier. In a moment, I will show you how that will look. So uh, I'm creating this tool that it's going to be called uh, um, work, Workout Plan Generator, it's, you know, to generate a, a workout plan. Give me a moment. Okay, so I put here the name and create tool. And now what we would have to do is to create the instructions and the sections we we are going to have okay or our tool is going to have okay so in, in this case my tool is going to ask for the user's name the gender their age and their physical condition and also uh, i'm gonna uh, use some uh, questions like uh, what is the the goal maybe um, and in that way our capture initial information and then create a, a plan based on that okay so to add the questions and the, the field i am going to add here where it says questions right i am inputting here the questions so these are open-ended but here i want to show you something if you want to sh uh, um, select an option or use like a multiple choice you come here to the question type and you select the type of question you want to ask okay so in this since i am wanting the user to answer just one question to select from the options so I, i'm going to use the multiple choice single okay okay i have just added my questions keep in mind that there is only one option to be selected here because the option we selected is multiple choice single okay in the next one we are going to select multiple choice but we want this to be multiple okay because some people want to you know maybe work out to build muscle or some other people just want to lose weight or something or some people want everything so we're going to do it that way okay so here are my options so now the user, as you can see here, since I selected multiple, the user can select, let's say, two or three or all of them. Okay. One other thing I would recommend you to do is to mark all the questions as required. If you want the the user to answer everything and you need that data in your company or for your clients, all right, so this is the first part, okay? So now we are going to the builder, the prompt builder. As you can see here, it says missing prompt. This is just the first part. Now, if we come here, we're going to start working on the prompt. So just to make it clear, uh, prompt is basically an instruction. So we are going to tell this AI tool that we want the tool to act as um, a trainer or something so you will see it in a moment um for the the ai to give us a, a workout plan in you know good way okay okay as you can see here i already gave very specific instructions in a concise way and now we are going to input the information so here is very important to pay attention to how we are going to instruct our our smartphone so look the first thing we ask is the name 
second it was the eight. Remember to use the at symbol to bring um, the enter and tag it here. Okay, so once we have that, we are going to add double hashtag as a line breaker. And we can give a, like, a little bit more of instructions to our tool. So we're going to say we can, let's do a second step. All right, so we already gave all of the instructions. And now here comes the best practices. We recommend using GPT-40 and let's use web browsing. Also, uh, it's very important that if you're building this tool and you're bringing information from, from a specific website, you would want to uh, allow web scraping, but also mention that in the instructions like please bring information from this website and you put the website right there. And also in a moment, I will show you uh, in what other way you can add external websites or specific websites um, as for the web scraping, okay? Okay, so we already have our tool. We could say we can test it right now. So we are going to hit publish the live and then test tool. This is how it is going to look. Oh, I'm going to use myself. So now you're going to see what my tool is going to do based on the information I, I provided. Okay, I'm coming back to the builder. I want to show you that I said that I needed that workout plan plan in a, a table format. And as you can see here, we have everything we asked. And as you can see, the last instruction I gave, it was to mention the gym coach, Julian, as the author of this workout plan, as you can see here. You can do that with your tool, okay? So this is the first the first way you can create your tool. Let's create another tool, but it, this one is going to be a little bit easier and faster to create. But before we do that, I want to show you something. So, <clears throat> for example, you guys have um, maybe an ebook or you have your own PDF with information about well calisthenics or workout or I mean, for the sake of this uh, example, but if you want to use your own data, you can add documents here and you can attach them so that our smart form locates that information in the in the PDF or, or the CSV file, you know, to bring the answers. We can also within our platform you can change the theme you if you want if you want to embed your tool in a specific gym website or in a specific website you're working on you can embed the tool and you can adapt the theme a little bit to that website here is where we see the responses so this this is the first one because i already tested the tool and this is how we see it uh we see it uh internally right is how we see it internally and here comes something very useful so this is the code that you are going to use to embed the tool in let's say your CRM or the website <clears throat> or if you want to use it as a standalone you can just copy here 
and it's going to look like this, right? As you can see here. There is other thing I didn't mention is that you can have the the tool go like slide by slide, or you can do everything in just you know to look in in a in a single page. Let me show you. Okay, so here we come to this little gear and you can select if we want that to be like a single page or or a multi step in and in, in in the options so that changes the way the the user would see the questions let's test it again all right you see the difference let's bring it back to what it was Okay, and as you can see, it changed. All right, so this is the the way you can create your tool. Oh well, if we forgot to use an icon, let's let's use this one. Okay, so this is the way you can create your tool from scratch. If you already have your ideas and what you want to do within the tool, but here comes the second way you can build a tool. Okay. Yeah. I really, really love this other way we can create a tool. Sometimes for us it's easier to just mention our idea and have the AI do the rest. So this is what we are going to do at this very moment. So we're going to use the AI tool builder and we're going to create another workout plan generator. Look how easy it is. All right. So the AI already created my tool. Let's skip this. As you can see here, it's kind of similar to the one I just created. This is looking a little bit different since this is what we call prop prompt chain. So it comes from the result of this would affect the result of this one and then to this one to give you a general detail result. Okay. So let's publish to live and test this tool and see how it looks. I'm going to use myself as the example as well. And let's see how the tool works. Okay, so this is what it generated for me. Look, it's giving me the information. So as you can see, the first part, if we come to the builder, it says workout objective. So we, here we have it. Then the routine, which is here. And last, the nutrition plan. Oh. Okay, the nutrition plan, as you can see here, and we have the the information right here. Good thing here is that we can come to the prompt and tweak a little a little bit. Okay, so our recommendation, remember, is GPT-40. Let's allow web browsing, and let's ask this to create this in a, in a table format. We are going to do it here, and okay, save the prompt, and let's test the tool again. Remember, always, anytime you make a change, you want to publish to live and then test the tool to see if if the change was uh, taken. Right, it's almost done. And it took the the instruction I gave. So building this second tool, it took it took just like three or even less than three minutes. Okay. 
and building it from scratch it took me a little bit more um so these are the ways you can build your smart forms at formwise so i hope you guys enjoy building your own tools and monetizing thank you for watching